Hey everyone, today you are going to learn how to get to the bottom of that, well, uh, off in the distance. <coughs> Very early in the game, all you really need to know how to do is a glitch called Infinite Sword Glitch, which I have shown in a different video, but the only difference is it's in the game Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Also going to show you a couple tricks in the bottom of the world to make it go a lot faster for you speedrunners. But I'm not going to be getting the well shoes. I'm just going to be doing everything else leading up to that point. Because I do not know how to do that very well. So, here we go. What you need to do, throw the chicken. Okay, make sure that you can grab it. Did not do well there. But you don't want to hit it. Like, see how I crouched stab there? You don't want to, like, hit it when you stab. Okay, so see how it was flash and grab there, but I did not have enough time. Oh, this is not very good. Oh my god. Oh! Broke my own rolls there. Hit it. And make sure you are above the stairs while you're doing this, by the way. Oh. Cannot do this today. For whatever weird reason. I just did it off camera, like, on my first try a second ago. Wow. Why are you watching this video? It's, I'm, I'm doing such a bad job. Well, guess you believe in me. If the video is longer than six minutes, then I probably succeeded. So weird, you know the future. Hello, future citizens. What is up? Tell me about the future in the comments, I'd like to hear. Okay, here we go, let's try this again. Oh my god. Mm, this is painful to watch, I'm sure. It is for me. Wow. This is awful. This, this, is, this is just awful. Like, like, seriously. I think I've never... Like, when I'm gonna watch this back, I'm gonna be like, wow, I've never seen such a bad video in my entire life. Worked there, but I didn't get Infinite Sword Glitch. Worked there, but I didn't get Infinite Sword Glitch. Didn't work there, and I didn't get Infinite Sword Glitch. Just amazing. Look at this guy play Ocarina of Time. He's a complete beast, a legend among men. He should be go down in time as the histor historic savior of our world. He's just so amazing at this game. It's incredible. I'm sure he could beat it in about seven months if he was given the time to do it. That's what they're going to say about me. That's, what they're, that's just what they're going to say about me, you know? This kid is just so amazing at this game. Like, I'm, I'm sure he's just the best in the world. Yep, best in the world. <sighs> wow. It's pretty sad. Future tip to all you speedrunners, if you're doing a child's dungeon speedrun, or any sort of speedrun at all, by now, you should have reset. In fact, if you're doing this poorly, you should have reset four minutes ago. And it's funny, because this video is like it four minutes already, isn't it? Or is it even? I don't know. But what? Yes! I am the champion. So you get this flaming ball of chicken, which I directly stole from this one other guy who made this video. What I write, I do not care if you know that video, then please mention it in the comments. So what you want to do, right now I'm holding the Z and back on the analog stick. So what you want to do is press R and A at the same time. That way you do a backflip. See, I did a backflip. Oh my gosh. Pretty amazing. So now the chicken army, which is in fact proven to be mightier than Ganondorf's army, will come and try to attack you. But... They fail unless they can get to the bottom of the well. Ooh, how spooky. Well, you future people shouldn't have spoiled it for me. You probably already said, yeah, you 
you got it, but after you failed for like 69 minutes, you knew. So you do that little strat, as they would say, right there. Now here's where the pro part comes in. The glitch that I'm actually good at. Think about that, guys. I'm actually good at a glitch. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, right. So you get the small key. Now, whoops. Oh my god, wrong wall. Okay. Side hop, side hop. Fast epicness. So now you go in here. Now, I should mention before I do this. I'm gonna just take it in right here. I'm about to succeed, hopefully. It feels pretty good, you know? But, so what you do here is... It's a glitch which loads the next room, but you don't actually walk in it. Because the next door has a lock on it. And that lock, when you open it, it loads the room, but you can go through and it has various effects which are very useful in this game. Um, so what you want to do is, y you know that there's a little cutscene when you stand up from that weird crouching thing. So, look at your analog stick. When you come out of this place, you want to do a roll and tilt your analog stick. I know I'm saying analog stick a lot. So, you want to tilt that downward and to the left. But not the direction that you see downward and to the left, which I'm pressing now. It's like a slider version, like in between down and downward left. That's how slight I'm talking about. You want to roll, then you want to move it like down right again, I think. And, or upright, upright it, upright, but it's a very slight, it's just a little tap. And as you see, I'm doing it in real life here just to make sure, because I'm moving the menus. So I'll hopefully demonstrate this right now. Uh, no, I do not want to say. No, I failed. Okay, I knew I would fail, because that took t way too long. And if you're doing this, you cannot move backwards to save time or whatever, so wait until that ends. But you saw that little cutscene thing. I just was moving down, which, like, complete idiot. Like that again, what is wrong with me slash my controller? I'll blame it on my controller for this time. Even though this is like, I, this is a very new controller I bought it about a month ago. Very nice, by Tome, 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 I think. I, I always thought it was Tomek, but then, it's a turbo controller, but I'm not using the turbo. But, yeah, it's a pretty nice controller it, it, for an N64 controller. Now, I'm not getting money for this, because this video is probably going to get 67 views. Amazing. If you're the 67th viewer, please comment, because you're a very special person. And you're, if you're a Tomi or Tomek or whatever employee, then please send me one cent for advertising your company. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Well, actually, by one more time, I mean 2,386 more times. Because that's how many times I'm going to fail this. You know, a fun fact, I actually got this glitch on my very first try. Yeah, I was amazed. But alas... He said a last in my first video. What am I, like Shakespeare or something? Oh. Yeah, I got in my... F I guess I just have stage fright or something. Is that even possible? Like, like, I'm sitting in this depressing, dark room. And, and with Zelda posters all around. And, 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 like, like, nothing. Like, but somehow I feel stage fright. Like, my hands are all shaky, I guess. My 67 viewers, you know, they're, they just, you know, make me scared. I bet some of you are laughing at me right now. Oh, I did it! Yeah, see that? The key thing went down to zero. You can repeat that, slow-mo it. Uh, you can auto-tune it, make it viral, you know? Do anything you like to that, just if it can help you. So now, what did that do? You're like... This kid is stupid. What did that do? Okay. Well, you prepare to be amazed. Oh, yeah, and that... Don't go all the way down there. You will fall in there, and you will have to restart. And it will be painful. I trust... Trust me. I have done it before. So you see this little body of water here? 
Well, Link is like the opposite of Jesus. Like, he, he can't walk through water. He just falls straight through it. Watch this. Watch this craziness. He just fell straight through it. Whatever. So. Now you go through this little place. And look, this isn't filled up with water. If if Chuck Conroy were here, he would say this is major Nintendo logic. Water. And there's a passageway leading to another room that doesn't have water. Normally there would be a sculpture in here, but um, this, like, I don't know how to explain it. It, like, took out the actors in this. The actors. What? Oh, the game froze. Are you serious? Wow. Some luck. Serious? That is so uncool. Link? I know. Well, I don't know. I don't know why you freeze. I'm playing this on the N64. Maybe that's why. This is this is so annoying. Like, God, when I'm recording? Jesus Christ. Let's see that little yellow line at the top. I mean, come on. That is ridiculous. Well, yes, that's a great place to end off the video. It's eleven minutes or whatever. Okay. Have a nice day. Goodbye. And please don't let your Ocarina of Time freeze on you.